Right. Howdy there, folks. It's me again, Brandon Wenzel, your guide into all things martial arts cinema related. Uh, why? Because, of course, I know Kung Fu. And, uh, just like the neglected, or the neglected father who shows up only once in a while around Christmas, uh, I have returned to you. Um, sorry about that, by the way. Kind of, eh, the Easter things. You know what? I'm not even going to apologize anymore. But I am. Sorry. Uh, but I'm here now. That's what really matters. So, uh, so why am I here? Am I here to do an explanation? Am I here to do a review or special features? What am I doing? Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm not here to do any of those things. No. No. I'm here to ask you folks a very simple question. What? Well, th this is the question. What was the greatest action duo of the 90s? See, I was thinking about this. Okay, was it was it Mel Gibson and Danny Glover? Okay, but uh, granted they both teetered off a bit. Do what you do, I guess. Uh, how about uh, Kurt Russell... And, uh, Mr. Sylvester Stallone. There, ooh, that's, come on, how about, uh, maybe Jackie Chan and, uh, Chris Tucker? May, no. No, it's none of those things, you damn fools. Haven't you been listening to anything that I've been teaching you throughout these stupid videos of mine? I'm gonna tell you the answer. It was, in fact, BOOM! Roddy Roddy Piper, and BOOM! Billy Blanks! Yes, that's right. The wrestling legend and the Tybo Master teamed up for a film back in 1993 called Back in Action. Uh, actually did another film together, too, called Tough and Deadly, uh, which I thought about reviewing, but I, I just got through watching this, so I'm, I'm gonna do this one. And you're gonna like it. By the way, I'm gonna try to Keep the reflection for the sun off the DVD. Yeah, that's, that's good. So yes, back in 1993, action was everywhere, and action duos were one of the best things about it. You didn't even really have to, you really didn't even have to have, like, a great budget or anything. You could just kind of go over there, team up two guys, put them, give them some guns and some fists and some stuff, and people bought it. It just was... It was a simpler time, folks, okay? Those of you who've grown up in the 2000s probably look upon the uh, the 1990s as, you know, probably the way that I do when I watch an episode of Little House on the Prairie. Yes, I like Little House on the Prairie, so go fuck yourself. Uh, but yes, they were quainter times where you didn't need CG and everything exploded all the time. It was great. And at some point in time or another, uh, I have no idea how this combination came about, but apparently Rowdy Roddy Piper and uh, Mr. Billy Blanks just decided, you know what? Why the hell not? Let's give it a go. And uh, boy, did they ever. So... Oh. Oh my god. This is... Okay. So, all right, all right, well, you know what, let's go into, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, so I'm a little bit off kilter. All right, but, and let's just remember, folks, if you're ever, if you're over there, you're like, hey, 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 you took too long to get to another one. Let's not forget, I did nine movies in my last review. And by the way, I do intend to do a special feature for that, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Anyway, so, uh, I tried to look up some information on some of the other people involved with the film, uh... Assistant director Paul Ziller, uh, he went over there and he directed uh, Moving Target with our friend Don the Dragon, Don the Dragon Wilson. Why am I wearing this shirt again? I'm gonna go into that at the end of my thing. Uh, but he directed that. Uh, it was pretty much the only thing I could find that was particularly interesting. And you had Bobby Phillips of the uh, the Chameleon movies who gets to kick some ass in this too. So all right, that's that's that. All right. So what time is it now? Synapses. Alright. So what's this film about? Besides Rowdy Roddy Piper and Tybo Legend Billy Blanks. Which really is all you need. Do you need more than that? No. You're already salivating. I can tell. 
So, but I'm gonna give you more, because I'm cool like that. So, all right. This guy right here, Mr. Rowdy Rowdy Piper, he plays police officer, right? He's police officer. Starts off, he's over there, he's like in the middle of this like drug deal thing that's going down. And, which is the street lingo. And, uh, he's over there and he's, he's in the middle of this whole thing. <clears throat> he's pretending to be like a gangster mobster guy. He's gonna go over there and buy some drugs. So he comes up with the money and they've got the drugs and that's how you do a drug deal. So... He's going to go over there and do this, but there's other stuff going on. Because you see this guy right here, Mr. Billy Blanks, well, it turns out that his sister is over there dating one of these here mob folk, and she's at this whole thing. That's a bad move, mob folk guy. What the hell's? Why would you bring her? He even asked that, so that's not even a dumb question. But he's there to get her back, because he's like, fuck this, man. I'm not letting my, my little sister go over there and bang some fucking mob dude and get killed and all that stuff. Good move, Billy Blanks. We appreciate your devotion to your sibling. So. <laughs> so, anyway. They're over there, they're setting this whole thing up, and it's going down and stuff, and you've got the evil villain guys on the other end, and they're all kind of nervous and crazy a little bit, and you've got Rowdy Roddy Piper, who's like, Psh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, I got nothing to worry about. And you've got Billy Blanks trying to go over there and get his sister back, but oh wait, oh, Billy, what are you doing, man? He ends up kind of causing a bit of a ruckus, some gunfire goes off, when gunfire goes off at a drug deal, everyone starts shooting. If you've seen any action movie in the 90s, that's exactly how it goes. Never, never once in the 80s movies, they just say, whoa, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Let's take, let's find out where this is coming from before we decide to, you know. But okay, I understand drug deal. So, they go over there. They start shooting it up and everything. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Well, his partner's over there, he gets shot. Oh no! Rowdy Rowdy Piper! Your partner got shot. What are you doing, man? Well, he's still alive. Or is he? No, he's really not, because... Douchebag McCracken, Mr. Second-in-Command guy of this whole organization thing, or whatever... Well, he goes over there, he takes his knife out, and he fucking guts the guy! Dude! What a dick move. What a dick move. Nobody appreciates that shit. I don't know, maybe he thought he did, maybe he's like one of those guys, like... He's like, I would have enjoyed it, but he doesn't later on. You'll see. I'm going to tell you. So, okay. This pisses off Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and of course the villains get away. Tybo guy takes his sister back. But she's all like, fuck you! I don't care if you're ex-special forces and all that nonsense. You know, I want to just go love the guy that I want to love. And Billy Blanks is like, no sister of mine's going to be with a mob guy, because... Billy Blanks, let's do some Tybo. <laughs> By the way, I shouldn't mention, for those of you who aren't aware, before Billy Blanks was of Tybo fame, he was actually like a five-time like national karate champion and stuff like that. So back before he was doing this whole thing, he was actually doing this whole thing. But... Hey, it worked for him, man. I tried to friend him on Facebook, and I couldn't even do it because he had so many friends. Damn. Anyway. So, this leads to this whole thing that's going on, where you've got Rowdy Roddy Piper over there, and he's like, man, I gotta get these guys. And in the meantime, well, Bobby Phillips is over there, and she's this chick reporter who's like kind of... Kind of on Rowdy Roddy Piper's side, but at the same time, she's a little bit of a cunt. And she's trying to get her story, but they fuck a few times, and so everybody's happy. You know, I mean, come on, you know, that's how it goes. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, you've got Billy Blanks over there trying to protect his sister. But oh wait, evil organization guy, he gets wind of this, he's not happy. So he's like, well, somebody obviously had to have gone over there and set this whole thing up, who's the one fucking missing piece here? Oh, it's gotta be your fucking girlfriend. Well, I need you to go send some Italian twins to go over there and fucking kill her. I just swear to God, they look, they look a little bit like the Mario Brothers. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
I got the Mario song stuck in my head. Do, 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 boop, 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 boop. That's the underwater level, though. That doesn't even work. Anyway. Anyway. So. Mario and Luigi show up, and Billy Blanks is like, Bitch, I was a Duck Hunt fan, and just beats the shit out of him. And, oh, they just, things do not go well for the fucking Mario Brothers. Um... But, of course, now he's got to find a new place to hang out, because he can't stay there anymore. You don't want fucking, you know, NES video game icons getting sent to your fucking house to assassinate you. What if Dig Dug shows up? What are you going to do then? Oh, man. Anyway, anyway, wait. Her link. <laughs> With the boomerang. Anyway. So... In the meantime, Rowdy Roddy Piper's trying to piece this whole thing together. He's beating some people up and everything. And the two of them end up running into each other in a bar. Coincidence! Wacky! They get into a fight, but, you know, it's fucking, you know, it's, come on now, it's Billy Blanks. I mean, as much as it's Rowdy Roddy Piper, it's Billy Blanks. So he ends up getting away. They go over there. The chick ends up uh, reuniting with the mob guy who she was with, her boyfriend. Because it turns out he was sent to kill her, but it turns out, oh wait, he's not that bad a guy. He doesn't want to kill her at all, and so they're going to fuck, and everything's going to be cool. I guess it's almost like the fucking, <laughs> it's almost like the moral of the story in this book. Just fucking everything will be great. Anyway, so, um, so in any case, they got to go into hiding now too, because not only do they need to stay away from the mobsters and Rowdy Rowdy Piper, but they also gotta stay away from Billy Blanks, because he does not approve of this whole relationship. So when Billy Blanks gets back, he sees his sister's gone, he assumes, well, fuck this! Villain dude stole my sister! Time to go tie bow on their ass! And from there, it becomes one of the best just fucking beat down, oh, like, sequences, I'm not even a sequence, just like, scene to scene, it's like, Rowdy Rowdy Piper's doing something to Rowdy Rowdy Piper that it's like, Tybo Billy Blanks just beating ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a, it's amazing. There's a scene in there. I don't want to give it away. But I'm going to give it away. Because it's not really something to give away. It's just a cool scene. <laughs> After Billy Blanks has thoroughly beat the shit out of this poor bastard. He's over there. He's got him by the head right. He's like this. And the guy's all like, uh, about to fucking fall over. Billy Blanks all like, no. No. And he lets him go. Then he goes over there, turns around, and fucking thunder kicks the guy to the face. Why do I call it a thunder kick? Because when they do the sound effect for it, it's like, we'll crack, we'll crack, we'll crack, and you get to see it three times. It's awesome! It's like the highlight of 90s action. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyway. So... <laughs> They, Billy Blanks and Rowdy Rowdy Piper end up meeting up, Rowdy Rowdy Piper kind of saves Billy Blanks, Billy Blanks kind of saves Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and they kind of figure out, like, I mean, Rowdy Rowdy Piper's like, alright, I know what you're doing, man, I'm not gonna stop you, because these are bad guys, they killed my partner, I'm trying to get him anyway, so, you know, kind of lets him do his thing, but then he's just, he's killing a lot of people, and, you know, eventually, some, you know, somebody's gonna figure this shit out, even if they are bad dudes, it's a bit much. So, alright. So, you know, he's gotta go over there, he's gotta find these guys. And at the same time, he's kinda gotta stop Billy Blank, but not exactly. So he goes over there, he, you know, just decides, you know what, fuck it, man. I'm getting the one guy who I wanna get. I didn't care about the rest of this stuff. Goes over there, charges into the villain's home. Villain dude's this villain guy, and he's trying to stop smoking through acupuncture. Rowdy Rowdy Piper's over there, and he's just... Grabs the act, push it, just stabbing him in that guy's head. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> Rowdy Rowdy Piper's over there, and he's like, or yeah, he's you know, villain guy shows up, the second in command guy. He goes over here, he shows up, he's like, oh, I'm gonna beat your ass for Rowdy Rowdy Piper. He begs to differ. Oh God, does he? He fucking wrecks this guy, full-on wrestling style. 
That is the cool. That is one of the cool things about Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Which, by, by the way, like if you didn't know, I mean, you know, he's he's Rowdy Rowdy Piper. But the guy actually has he has like a black belt in karate. Uh, he was trained in judo under Judo Gene. You know, so I mean, he he's a legitimate martial artist, but obviously he's known more for his wrestling. And really, I mean, in a movie with him and Billy Blanks, he can't really be the martial arts guy. So, but the great thing about it is, is because when you go over there, you take wrestling moves and you put them on screen where they're not intended to be real. Everybody knows that they're. It's a lot cooler than when they're trying to pass it off as real. And I'm sorry, come on, folks. Let's just. I love wrestling for what it is, but it honestly, in some ways, works better than in in, uh, in film. <laughs> when you see Rowdy Rowdy Piper go over there and just fucking, you know, full on jump kick a guy, not even just drop kick a guy through, it's uh, it's amazing. Anyway, um, there's nuts being lit on fire and all kinds of shit. But of course, douchebag guy gets out because you know. I don't think you're allowed to just go, even if the guy's a bad guy and the guy killed you. You're not really allowed to just go onto somebody's premises, stab him with acupuncture needles, go over there, light his goons nuts on fire, and then take him in. But he tried. I'll give him that. Um, so, you know, so, and then again, in the meantime, Billy Blanks is over there fucking up their organization. And then... The chick's over there. She's trying to figure this whole thing out. The reporter's chick, Bobby Phillips, she's trying to figure this whole thing out. Well, she ends up finding the two the two lovers, the, uh, Billy Blank's sister and the mobster guy, and she decides she's going to tell their story so that hopefully Billy Blanks will stop killing everyone in all of whatever fucking city this was in. Because he was going to kill everybody until he fucking found her. Um... But unfortunately, this leads the mob guys to Bobby Phillips, who, granted, she actually does a pretty good... She actually is a martial artist, too. Uh, she does a pretty good job of fending them off for a little bit, and, you know, then she gets taken in. Uh, but, you know, they grab her, and then, of course, they gotta interrogate her, you know, and all that, you know, it's, it's unpleasant. And, of course, they find, they find uh, Billy Blake's sister, and... And her lover, who he proceeds to get shot. Uh, he didn't really do anything. I don't... And I'm not sure if he died or not. Like, he was definitely alive later when Billy Blanks and uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper showed up. But I don't know if he actually died or not. But, eh, it doesn't really matter. He wasn't important. Anyway. So, okay, now they've got the villains. They've got Bobby Phillips. And they've got... Tybo, Legend, Billy Blank's sister. Oh no. Well, what are they going to be? Their course are going to be used for bait. So they're up on this tanker ship and everything, and they got to get up there and they got to beat their ass. Okay, so that's what they tried to do, right? They get up, they're doing well. They're grabbing guns from guys, and Tybo guy doesn't want a gun. He wants a chrome gun, and <sighs> he does. I'm not even joking. Uh,. But, you know, they're over there and they gotta do this whole thing. They're doing well for a while, but then they're gonna blow some stuff up, but it doesn't get blown up. Why? Because there's a Yeti man, and the Yeti man puts out the fire. So, Tybo, Billy Blights, has gotta go over there and beat up the Yeti man. In the meantime, apparently Rowdy Rowdy Piper thought that he had to get hit in the face with the back of a shotgun. What? Why would you think that, Rowdy Rowdy Piper? Why? I don't know. But he did. So, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Allergies. Nothing I can do about it. If I didn't do that, eventually I was going to just, just fucking come out my eyes. Anyway. So. And I'm doing it mostly off, off camera, so live with it. Anyway. So now they've got Rowdy Rowdy Piper. They've got the chick. They've got... Tybo legend, Billy Blake's sister, and they're all captured and stuff, and they're over there, the one dude, the second in command guy, he's beating the shit out of Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and main villain guy, organization guy, well he's gonna acupuncture some eyeballs of these poor chicks, oh no, Billy Blanks is over there, he's trying to beat up a Yeti man, well, I say trying, like it wasn't a foregone conclusion, it's Tybo legend, Billy Blanks, this guy. 
But before he was that guy, but when he was just this guy. So what happens? Well, he beats up the Yeti Man. Of course he beats up the Yeti Man. It takes a little time, but he does it. How long would it take you to beat up a Yeti Man? Right? There's no fucking like 30 minutes or your Yeti Man is free deal on this whole thing. No. Billy Blanks is, you know, he's going to take his time. So he beats up the Yeti Man. In the meantime, Rowdy Rowdy Piper gets away. He goes over there. He fights off with the one dude. He ends up gutting a bitch. And like I said at the beginning of this, he did not seem to appreciate that shit. Oh no! But he was a prick, so who cares? In the meantime, the chicks get away from the acupuncture guy. He's all like, no! But, you know. Tybo, legend Billy Blanks is over there. Dual Uzis running around. Explosions going off. Just, ah! That is like the 90s in a single scene. Oh my god, is it the 90s? Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Anyway. So, they go over there, the fucking guys, you know, Billy, or no, Rowdy Rowdy Piper goes over there, he kills the one guy, and, uh, yeah, I said that, he gutted him. <laughs> In the meantime, Billy Blanks is over there, he's all like, you know, gotta get his sister back, his acupuncture guy's back. Shoots his ass in the head, he falls over there, like, so what are we gonna do about this now? And Rowdy Rowdy Piper's like, well, it seems to me like one man took out an entire organization, and then he just disappeared into the night. How cool is that? Oh, my God, I love it. You see, it's my... Oh, I love it. <laughs> so, that's the movie, essentially. You could have gone over there and just, like, put a tag on this. Just, just back in action. The 90s. Oh, man. I, for me, I, I love this. You know, I grew up in the 90s, and maybe you grew up in the 90s, or maybe you didn't. I don't know when you grew up. But this was amazing. Um, <laughs> it fell. Yay! This is amazing. So, okay, alright. What's there to say about the movie? Alright, let's... Am I gonna do a good and the bad thing? I think I'm gonna do a good and the bad thing. <laughs> the good. Everything! <laughs> Rowdy Rowdy Piper and Billy Blanks in one movie together. How is that? That's amazing. But no, seriously, the two of them are an awesome duo because on the one hand, you've got Billy Blanks and he's the martial arts guy. and He's got a little bit of a sense of humor about him, but he's definitely the straight man. On the other hand, you've got Rowdy Roddy Piper there to go over there and come up with perfect one-liners and, you know, all kinds of shit. And he's kind of goofy, but he's not that goofy. And, uh, the two of them, I mean, seriously, they could have made a hundred movies together. I would have watched every single one of them. Every single one of them. Um, <laughs> the action is great. Uh, Billy Blanks is a fucking badass destroyer. I mean, he really is, like, a legitimate ass kicker in this. Um, oh, Rowdy Roddy Piper is just fantastic. I mean, Bobby... Phillips, she even has her little moment. Uh, I would have, I, you know, I guess if I was going to, on the bad, I would have liked to have seen Bobby Phillips kick a little bit more ass, but, uh, you know, eh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's only so much time in a day. And, uh, uh, oh, there's explosions and a Yeti man and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, the bad, I guess the only bad really is like if you're not a fan of the style of movies and you'd probably hate it. Uh, but I don't, I can't imagine that. I just, oh my god. Anyway, I guess that's the good and the bad. Seriously, is, is there actual bad? Um, I mean, you know, I, it does fall within, you know, the realm of most American martial arts action films. So, I mean, you know, don't expect like Hong Kong style choreography or anything. But, I think for the, particularly, Billy Blanks, is, he's a surprisingly, aside from, you know, just being awesome anyway, he's a surprisingly, you know, agile guy, as far as, you know, most karate guys go, so, you know, he can actually flip around a bit and kick some ass, so, yeah, I, th I think it could satisfy a, you know, a Hong Kong uh, cinema fan, you know, maybe not their favorite thing in the world, but I, th I think so, I think so. Okay, and I know Kung Fu, and I'm doing the video. So if I think so, it means it's right. 
Listen to your Sifu. Anyway, um... You. There's... There's stuff on the back of my fucking DVD and I don't know what it is. Anyway. Um, so, okay, so where does it fall on the scale, right? The eternal scale. Uh... <laughs> with the bottom being the eternal bottom that is Ninja Revenge. It's so bad it's worse than less than zero. The movie and what it is. And ten being, um... What's ten? Um, ten is the two of them getting together to do another movie today. That's a ten. Where does this fall? It's like a seven and three-fourths. What's a seven and three-fourths on the scale of arbitrary numbers that don't matter at all? Oh, God. Um, seven and three-fourths. It's like... Ah... Oh, I don't know. What's a good... What's a good analogy for a seven and three-fourths? Um... Oh, seven and three-fourths. Seven and three-fourths. Oh, no! <laughs> Blanking on an analogy. Blanking. Pun intended. Um... Seven and three-fourths is like... Uh... If they came out with, like, a special featured version of this movie with commentary and all that, so that would be, like, a seven and three fours. That'd be pretty damn cool, but not as cool as if they did another movie together. So, okay. So that's the thing. All right, so I got a little extra time. I'm going to try to get this done real quick. Um, okay. Other things to bring up. Uh, 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 okay, all right. Why am I wearing the Don Dragon Wilson t-shirt? I brought that up. Okay, well, here's what I need you folks to do if you watch me, if you appreciate my videos, which you probably don't, because I only have five subscribers, but that's okay, because I love doing this anyway. Um, <laughs> our amazing icons, uh, Don the Dragon Wilson and Cynthia Rothrock, have teamed up to do a movie together called The Martial Arts Kid. Um... I guess it's going to be kind of like a uh, Karate Kid type thing, maybe? I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't matter. Well, it does, but it, it, it not for whatever. Anyway, so anyway, <laughs> what is my point? All right, well, they're doing this film, and, I mean, the film's going to be made one way or another, but they want to start up Kickstarter fund to help, you know, fill in some of the blanks. So uh, I wanted to make you aware of that right now because they're doing this Kickstarter thing, and, you know... Contribute, uh, <laughs> if you do, um, if you can, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll post a link on my page, not only I Know Kung Fu, but on my personal page. It's also on Cynthia Rothrock's, uh, Facebook page, Don Dragon Wilson's, uh, James Wilson, Don Dragon Wilson's brother, um, so if you're looking for it, uh, please contribute, uh, let's really help this out, folks. I contributed, uh, whopping $75.00 to this fund, so, um, you know, help out if you can, and, uh, 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 is there anything else? I don't think so? All right, so, okay, because I've battled with the sword identity in the middle of the assassination games against the Magnificent Butcher, but then it was game over. I'm Brandon Wenzel. I review martial arts films. Why? Why? Because I, me, this guy right here, I know. Kung Fu. Alright, folks. Special features edition thing coming up soon. Whoosh.